Good day, business people, and welcome to today's lecture. My name is AJ Forbes, a college professor, an HR practitioner, and a graduate student in business management. For today, I will introduce to you the fundamental concepts of information management. Let's begin. Let's have a look on how information management can be turned into an advantage. Here's your typical production line today. Raw materials go in, products comes out, and everything runs smoothly until something breaks and spare parts take weeks to arrive. But here is how it looks if you proactively utilized your information. The data is now collected, analyzed, and used to keep you one step ahead all the time. To the mutual benefit of your production and to your finances, it is evident that this R or the information management can be say or can say that we can say that uh, everything is beneficial the same goes to your services marketing and sales so the same benefits that we can receive information management is complex and seems overwhelming for many reasons and for businesses understanding ims helps finding the pieces of information puzzle and all its parts primarily information management uh, is overwhelming because there are so many tasks, information, sources, questions, uh, the critical connections, and processes involved. For businesses, for business executives trying to figure out how information can help to solve pressing challenges, uh, make the business run smoother, address the needs of workers and customers, let alone find ways to generate business value, information management feels like racket uh, science. To define it formally, information management concerns the identification, optimization, custodianship, and connection of information and information invest intensive processes to in innovate, achieve competent, uh, competitive advantage, uh, generate business and customers' value, and thrive in an era where information is a core business uh, asset like in this uh, time of modern times. Uh, and an economic uh, good. So it is considered as a necessity already. Look at this figure. It illustrates the purpose of or how to know the purpose uh, or if you want to know the purpose of your information management and its uh, possible causes and benefits, it consists of three major elements. People, processes, technologies. Too much uh, focus on technology and not enough on people and process is deadly. We know that. In a nutshell, it's about people or the workers or the customers enabled by knowledge and actions through connected processes, working together and to achieve the goal, the common goal, using the proper technologies. So, so still technologies are dependent to how people will operate the, the technology. And uh, taking into account that the information's life cycle whereby both of end goal or our purposes are needed to when it will be taken, to how it will be taken, to where it will be taken, and the process that should be the, the, primary, the primary goal of uh, ha, uh, to be handled properly. Further, the second illustration shows the traditional enterprise content management view on information management information. It is consists of data and data needs to be accurate that is already expected or that is given, that we have uh, everything or every data that we will be putting in are accurate. And security matters, there are legal challenges that also part of the diagram. You need to turn captured information into knowledge and outcomes. You need to connect data and information silos. There are many systems and processes that you, as you can see, however, the number of variety of input and out of channel sources and scenarios. And uh, though it is huge and it's given that it is um, complex, however, we have to connect it everything because that's the main purpose of uh, information management to coordinate uh, each data one together. So why information management should matter to the management and to the boardroom as part of the con commitment of the company. So the first person that should be should be confident in taking this as a, an investment is the members of mem sorry members of the board. 
<laughs> so organization must understand that information is not just the lifeblood of the organization and the glue of human interactions and processes. It's a key business asset and even an economic good in today's and tomorrow's economy. Saying that information is a key business asset in, uh, and it's one thing that is threatening in one way or another, even we realize the crucial role of information and thus information management uh, emphasized how important it is when asked in a survey or a face-to-face -face discussion, there are disconnections between what we preach and what we practice. So what we, we are envisioning that our organization must attain when it comes to information management should also be the actions that we have to take. So there are three essential occurrences that we have to focus on to provide definite control. One is we have to understand that information management goes cognitive and artificial information. Okay. Intelligent information management, so-called smart processes, applications, automated interpretation, cognitive systems, smart connectivity with information, and flows intelligently to document and uh, the recognition of algorithms because every data is part of or consists of algorithms and the system itself. Second is that information management goes actionable engagement and context so in a context way of describing it, the top of the intelligence going on on the ways information is recognized. It is understood that you have to put it into action and has to do with the shifting focus of information management on the outcomes. This is related with the evolution from so-called systems of record to systems engagement. And with this, all we have to understand that intelligent information management enables organization to focus on what matters most. Okay. In view of the understanding, we have to understand further how digital transformation and how information becomes the center of a new economy since we are claiming that the information management is a good organizational strategy. Okay, so I have provided you here with some of the related studies that we can use as our reference to strengthen our uh, understanding and our. Uh, comprehension, how important it is to install or to integrate uh, um, information management in this digital transformation. Okay, so in 2016, 65% of large organizations will have committed to become information based ones. Why? Because we understand the key role of information in transformation, customer experiences, uh, innovation, you name it. So, however, there is a big difference between commitment and capability as mentioned. Second, the organization focus will shift towards intangible capital. So it's a countless uh, capital wherein we have to think about people, relationship, and information as the connectors. Think about innovation capacity, data, con customer experience, speed and agility, and ability to scale. And according to the IDC, by 2020, 60% of the G2000 will have the, uh, doubled productivity by the digital transforming many processes from human-based to software-based delivery. And it is evident right now, especially during pandemic, that everything transformed into digital platforms and uh, the use of different applications and systems were integrated into their operational systems. So the face-to-face -face uh, interaction were restricted. So we all... Uh, uh, familiar and we all experiencing that uh, as the new normal system when it comes to transactions in businesses. So an important question to be answered is, is why, what, and where to strategize and prioritize data information, okay? So there are a few main ways documents, uh, data, and information can enter to the organization. On top of this information, there's obviously also a bunch of information we already have. The question in this case also becomes what we can leverage and how in order to fulfill the business objectives. Keeping in mind the goal, the good old mantra, getting the right information to the right place for the right people, action systems at the right time in the correct 
context. So that should be our principle when it comes to information management. If people is ready, if they are capable of doing so, if the information are enough and appropriate, uh, and uh, when the time is, uh, if it's timely and it is relevant, and then we have to manage it everything well. Okay. So as a result, Ayan. So, I would like to end this uh, presentation by citing this. Uh, leveraging data and information is not just an enabler of digital transformation anymore. It's at the heart of the digital transformation economy. Most especially uh, in this time, not only of pandemic, uh, but also we are trying to hike up on the stage of turning pay, uh, to be paperless, uh, to be digital. So we have to embrace the digital transformation and we have to integrate uh, well the concept and the information systems, okay? So that would be the end of my discussion when it comes to information management and some strategies. So I hope you, I have imparted you with some of the knowledge that I know and, of course, helpful for your studies. So thank you so much for your time and have a great day.